Good morning. I want to start off. We're going to talk today about mentorship and cross-generational networking. The reality is when I look around at the people who are the most successful, and I've been very fortunate. I've been around people in all aspects of my career. When I look at the people who I admire, none of them did it alone. But what's holding her back is different than what's holding him back or her back. So there is not one answer that's going to help your whole department. We don't do this alone. We need other people. And if we can remember that, if we can get back to, to the basic premise that all opportunities in your life will come from people, you're going to find more success. So take a minute, though. Look next to you. Look behind you. These are the people who could and will and should be enriching your life and bringing you not only opportunities, but also different ways to see the world and how to move ahead. What we've learned over the last decade is that people want to connect. But the other reason that everybody across industry lines checks for why they come to events is for the networking opportunities. However, my definition of a mentor is a mentor isn't paid. A mentor is long term. It's not something you go to a weekend with a mentor. A mentor should be somebody who has that level of friendship. Because what do you do with your friends? You watch out for them. But what do your friends do for you? They watch out for you. And a mentor shows you the way. Because it simply is engagement equals meaningful connections between two or more people. And as you walk around the halls for the next few days, I encourage you to embrace that because that will help you achieve the best conference that you've had ever possibly. The time has come for you to give back and you should actively be looking to serve other people. You got one shot at life. Don't take a job because someone else told you it's the right job to take. That is, are you excited about what you're doing? Are you in the right career? Are you, are you looking forward to what opportunities lie ahead? Do you get out of bed and say, I like to go to work? Do you feel that you're making a difference, that you're solving problems for people? If you surround yourself with the right people and build connections and build relationships, success leaves clues. And build relationships. Change your perspective about why you're here and make yourself realize that the public works community is something special. You already know that but take the steps to make sure that you become an active part of that. Because here's the deal, all opportunities in life come from people.